Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can make backdrop clips out of simple PVC piping. Now you can make these for less than five cents a piece. They're extremely cheap, easy to make, and they work great. Granted, you can go and buy clips for holding your backdrops for about a dollar, two dollars each, but you can make tons of these, you lose them, it doesn't matter, they hardly cost anything, and you don't have to wait to order them. You just go to your local hardware store, get a chunk of PVC piping. I'm using PVC conduit piping. We'll go over the sizes and what you need here in a little bit. But what I'll do first is um, we'll demonstrate it uh, working, and then we'll go over to the workbench and I'll show you how to make these. So I have two of them already made up, and I have a backdrop here and I have my roll around backdrop holder. I use this a lot with my green screen and some other backdrops I have. All right, we get it started up on there and we take our clip. Bam, that one's on. Stretch it out here to the other side, get it relatively even. Clip it on. Look at that. And it holds. Holds really good. Now for a short one like this, you'd get away with two. If it was a little heavier of a backdrop, you'd probably want to put one in the center. Like I said, I got two made up right now for this particular backdrop holder. And I'll be showing you here in a minute to make another one. Now um, <clears throat> to figure out what size PVC you need, there's several different types of plumbing. There's pressurized plumbing. There's... Um, Drainage plumbing, there that means that uh, the wall isn't as thick. There's conduit PVC. What you want to do is find a PVC that just fits either barely snug or has a little bit of slack. Um, you can get away with it being a little loose, but uh, you just check around and you'll be able to find a PVC of one of the three types that is going to fit. And if it is a little loose, what you can do is you can heat it up in some boiling water the first time you clamp it on there. And what that'll do is it'll stretch it out a little bit, or if it's a little too too uh, <coughs> big, you can put it on there and clamp down on it, and that will shrink it down a little bit. Now you can't go big extremes, but you're gonna be able to find a PVC that will work. I recommend just taking your uh, tape measure, measuring it, or you can bring up if you could possibly bring a piece of your backdrop with you well but that uh, probably in most cases ain't gonna happen so what you can do is measure it I personally I keep a lot of PVC on hand because I build all kinds of things out of it so <clears throat> I have a rather big selection but that's all the, the easiest way to do it just you want something that's close it doesn't have to be exact it can be a little small a little big by heating it up you can also use a heat gun um, I guess I've never tried a hair dryer. I don't think that would get hot enough, but boiling water or a heat gun and you can form them. But all right, well, let me uh, bring the camera over to the workbench and I'll show you how to make these. So I'll catch you there in just a second. All right, I have the camera moved in here to the workbench and all the tools set up that we're going to need. Now, this is what the finished piece looks like. It's just simply just a little more than half of the PVC. Unfortunately, if you cut this straight in half, you can't get two. They won't clip on. You want it just a little more than half, and that's what makes it clip on. So for the tools, um, the easiest way is just to have one of these little wood miter boxes. This really will make it a lot easier to do. Otherwise, you could use a hand uh, hacksaw and do it without the miter box, but this does make it easier. So <coughs> if you have one, use that otherwise you can do this by hand it just won't be quite as accurate but the first thing we need to do is we want to cut around a half inch to an inch and a half the inch and a half you'd want if you want a stronger clip half inch if you want a weaker clip I'm gonna cut one down around a little bit shorter than the others
we go. I got the piece cut. Now I'm going to set this out of the way. All right. Now I want to take and get our little burrs off of there. Just be careful if you do it by finger like I am. You can get a plastic sliver. All right. Now what we want to do is put it back in the miter. Or if you're doing it by hand, you're going to have to guess really close. Like I showed you, you want it a little more than half, just a little bit. So I'm going to put it in here, and I would say just right about there. It just has to be close. As long as it's more than half, it's going to clip. go now this piece can be thrown away or you can save it for something else and just clean our burrs off of there <coughs> all right I've got a test piece I got a piece of tubing here this PVC is actually the same thickness as the backdrop holder I'll show you clips on there and holds good here's this clip perfect now, if you're making these, um, the, the pipe that you're making these for is a little bit bigger diameter, you'll want to cut them just a, maybe a eighth inch more than I did because when you heat it up, it's going to expand it out. You don't, uh, if you cut it like this and then expanded it, it would be closer to half size and it probably wouldn't clip on very good. But, now, before you heat them up, try them too because when you put your backdrop on there, that actually takes up some space if they're... A little loose to begin with you never know you might put the backdrop on there they fit perfect all right well I just thought I'd share that quick tip with you here today um, very easy to do uh, you can go buy a foot of PVC pipe for around a dollar and you can make a dozen to 24 of these depending how thick you want to make them six if you need them real thick but like I said if you start getting close to two inches these get really hard to clip off and on. The only reason I would use something like that is you had a really long, heavy backdrop that you really needed some clamping support for. Otherwise, I find about an inch works perfect for me. So, all right, with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. So, have a great day, and remember, have fun building.